want to welcome you to the flight today. This is your pilot, and uh, we will be taxiing for takeoff. And this is an entrepreneur flight. All first class seats. Welcome to our entrepreneurs today. Enjoy the flight. Sit back, relax. And we're going to take you to higher heights. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. Tell me how to get it done, and I'll do what it takes to get it done. Okay, I got it. I'm in it to win it. Why does it have to take so much energy to get this thing off the ground? I want success, but I don't want to do what it takes to get success. I don't want sacrifice and commitment. I want success, but I don't want to do what it takes to get success. Please, keep your seat belts fastened and observe the no smoking sign. Feel free to release your seat belts and move around the cabin. Our complimentary entrepreneur training will be provided by the most sought after distributor in network marketing, Mr. Gais Shakir. Talking about being one degree off course. We know what it means with ball and water, but the difference is here what it means when you're flying, when you're on your course. I can be one degree off. Shaq, say it again. One degree is very small. You talking about one degree, but down here is very small. But if I'm trying to get to a point up here, this is my point where I'm trying to reach up at the top, and I'm one degree off. The longer I stay off course, the further I'm going to get away from that course, to away from that course. It's wow. one degree here, but it might be 30 degrees over here. Wow. Can you say that again? Meaning that I'll, if I'm going to from I'm flying out of Oklahoma and headed to New York. I'm one degree off my course. One degree off my course. I never see New York. I never see Kennedy. Wow. I might see New York because it's big. But if I'm going to Kennedy Airport, I never get there. Wow. Going Diamond, you'll never get there. So what you told me this morning was just what I needed. You understand? Just what I needed. Get that one degree back on course. All what I'm doing before, now I just keep going. Wow. And whatnot. Wow. That's it's already there. It's already in me, man. Wow. And stop trying to convince people and just realize I'm in a sorting room. I'm going to get through whoever I need to get through. And God going to bring the right one in the strainer. And I can't pray over them and make a piece of uh, coal something other than what it is. A chicken, if it's a chicken, leave it and let it, let, let it go ahead and live to be a chicken. But it's an eagle, I'm going to find the eagle. That's what I'm looking for. Is it really that simple? In flight training, in flight training, you got a, what you call a VOR. That VOR, you can move it, all right? But that VOR, when you when you, when you you off course, if you see the needle deflecting one way and you're off course, we was always taught to make a 90 degree cut, make a 90 degree change to get to that point. And your needle in the VOR, the instrument will come in quicker if you're close to it. But if I'm out here and make a 90 degree, I'm going to have to fly a longer time to get to that course. Wow. But I don't know where I'm at since I'm off course, and I've been flying off course for so long. So now, you are training me. Now I'm making this 90 degree cut, and I'm going to get on course. But my needle might not come in to show me I'm going to hit diamond. I ain't going to hit diamond tomorrow because I'm making this correction. But by me staying corrected, I see that needle coming in. I see the volume going up, the volume going up, the people going up. I'm helping more people. I'm doing the right thing. So therefore, I get on course. And then when you see a needle coming in bad, then you make your turn down to that course, that diamond. Wow. Is it really that simple? All right. Now look, in the olden days, when I first started flying, I'm going from this point right here in Oklahoma, and I'm going to JFK in New York. I had to use tracking system, what they call VORs. In the olden days, the VORs, which is in the new days too, they're still on the ground. You know, I'd have to fly, I'd have to say a VOR here, a VOR here. I'd have to fly to that VOR, and then fly to the next VOR, and then go to 
the real artists on the ground at JFK. Wow. Now, with new equipment, yes, sir. today, you moved the... What's that thing called again? VOR, mathematically, and then you're with the equipment you have to this line, so you can fly straight. You move this VR right here, and then you fly and you tune in. So here's what you do. Instead of me having to fly out here, I can go now straight because I moved it to me. I can go straight. And it's gonna be less time, wow. consuming less gas and everything else. Now, that's the same principle that we have now with Zegia 2.0. I'm telling you, you don't have to go way out here and do all this. Get the right training, the right teaching, the right coaching, and now here you go, 2.0. The equipment we have in the aircraft now, the sophistication they have, right here, so I can go straight to my point. Wow. Over here. Now I can go from this location and fly straight to there. Wow. All right? That's just what Zegia is doing today with 2.0. They're moving it so that you can go straight to diamond, straight whatever level you want to be at, go straight.